Hey friends, this vlog was recorded at the end of 2019, out capturing fog flowing around the Golden Gate Bridge at one of my favorite places, the Marin Headlands. I really hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so I know you guys are probably sick of seeing what's in my bag videos and whatnot, but let me just show you what I have packed for the shoot. So I've got the A7R2 that I'm going to vlog with. I've got my 70-200 to 200 here, so I can do some really nice telephoto shots of fog, like detail shots. Those are actually my favorite, um, so I enjoy shooting these a lot more than the wide shots. Then I've got the 14-24, to 24, just in case I do want to do a wide shot. And what I'm filming this on right now is the 16 to 35 and Nikon D850. So I'm going to shoot all of the time lapses with the Nikon. All right, and then in this pocket, I've got my Polar Pro filters. In here is a six stop filter, a 10 stop filter, and a circular polarizer. And then I've got a whole lot of batteries because shooting time lapse means you're going to go through a whole lot of batteries. Ooh, and I almost forgot. This is the most important part of any shoot. Bold salt and vinegar almonds. All right, so this is Toby Harriman. How's it going? <laughs> and uh, we are currently driving up a foggy mountain up to go catch some views of the Golden Gate Bridge. The only thing is... It's a big mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's very uncertain if we're actually going to get any sort of view of the Golden Gate Bridge. And we've been, we've been in this situation many times before. Probably like uh, 10 years. So we used to wake up before sunrise and we would try and hike up a hill back that direction. And I think the first five or six times I tried it with you, Skunked. we would we would get skunked every single time. Skunked basically means you didn't get the shot. It didn't work out. <laughs> gets later. That right there is the edge. Like you can see just a little bit of blue sky above this fog. Someone's real fancy and brought a limo up here. Let that up here. This is a struggle. I want to see that go around the round <laughs> 30 point turn. <laughs> <laughs> the other car. We could either drive that way to another viewpoint and then do a little hike, or we can wait up there where those photographers are. I think we should go up there first. Once we got to the top, the views were spectacular. The fog dipped down just enough to see the city and revealed both towers of the bridge. Now I decided while I was up here, I was gonna focus more on time-lapse. Um, I did get a few photographs, but really my main goal was to get some beautiful fog flowing time-lapses around the bridge and around the city.
All right, so here's the one photograph that came out of that time-lapse shoot. And funny enough, this was a frame from that time-lapse you just watched. Um, you'll notice the long exposure look. I actually didn't do this long exposure in camera. This long exposure was created by me actually stacking five to 10 exposures from that time-lapse. I basically just brought them into Photoshop, changed the opacity of each one to give this nice long exposure look. Although I didn't want to completely smooth out the fog waves, I still wanted a little bit of texture in there, but I stacked enough frames just to give that nice movement. All right, so those are honestly some of my favorite time lapses I've shot of fog rolling over the Golden Gate Bridge. I've been shooting it for a pretty long time now, and it was truly spectacular last night. Um, I mean, it is spectacular every time. It's, it's really beautiful standing above the fog. It's kind of this moment where you sort of feel like you're the only person on planet Earth, except for all the people standing next to you just a really special moment. I shot most of those time lapses at one second intervals and two second intervals. I was using the Nikon D850 for pretty much all of them, 70 to 200 for a lot of the shots, and then I switched to the 16 to 35. Every single shot that I did was shot on manual. So none of those shots that you just saw were on any other setting besides manual. So it is actually day two of shooting fog right now. It's the day after. I am sitting next to my time-lapse slider, so that's the Dynamic Perception Stage 1 slider. I just got done doing a time-lapse of the Golden Gate Bridge, um, and I wanted a little bit of motion in there, so I have my slider going from left to right so that it looks like we're moving throughout the scene, and then I'm also tilting the camera up right up at the bridge, so it actually looks pretty cool. And I'm honestly just sitting here waiting to see if the bridge comes back out because right now, nothing. But sometimes after sunset, the fog lowers and you know, it's kind of nice up here. I figure I'll just wait, see what happens. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. See a little bit of the bridge coming back. If you wait long enough, something will happen. That's, that's the thing about landscape photography. If you wait long enough, something will happen. You don't always know what that thing is. Right now, I'm hopeful that that thing is the fog drops and we get this beautiful scene with the Golden Gate Bridge and the city in the background. But a lot of it's just a waiting game. You know, some of my favorite scenes that I've ever shot have been due to me just sitting here and waiting and just don't don't pack up your stuff don't go back to the cozy house with the good food and the heater just sit out in the cold and maybe something will happen it might not don't blame me if it <laughs> don't take the advice and, and then blame me when nothing happens but something might happen that's why you don't pack up that's why you wait. I think I'm going to take a few photos and then I'll do a time lapse because I think some photos of this would look really nice. All right, so here is the shot of the bridge peeking out of the fog, the one that I was waiting for. Admittedly, I've shot this composition a few times, well, more than a few times in the past, and I've gotten pretty similar conditions to this one. Uh, this was a long exposure, a 30 second exposure. Definitely not the most unique shot that I've gotten of the bridge, but I am really happy I stuck around to at least watch the bridge peek out of the fog one more time. I do love those diffused lights from the bottom of the tower that are kind of glistening through the fog. I thought that was a cool moment. So the bridge really only peaked out for about two minutes, enough for me to get this one photograph. So I didn't have enough time to do the time lapse before the fog just engulfed the bridge once again. So I decided to pack up and drive down the hill, but there was one more shot that I decided to take. 
All right, so I'm at another view of the Golden Gate Bridge. This time we're on the water and it's actually really nice. We've got the fog pouring over the bridge and this incredible sea stack. I don't know if it's incredible. I think it's a pretty cool sea stack. It's very pointy and it's right in front of the Golden Gate Bridge and the fog stops right at the edge of the bridge. So I'm trying to do a time lapse. I'm trying to do a few still images. All right, so here's the photograph to accompany the time lapse that you just saw. I love the motion in this photograph. I think that's the thing I enjoy the most. I love those little streaks of clouds that lead you right into the tower of the bridge, mimicked by that fog burst that's coming out of the right side. I thought that was a really cool element. I went with a 10 second exposure here. I found anything higher and the fog was almost too smooth to where it loses some of that some of that motion, some of the burst on the right side, um, but anything less and the fog that was actually flowing right over the tower became a little too choppy. So I thought this was a nice in-between. I actually love how the stars are coming out in this frame. Of course, there's a lot of light pollution from San Francisco, so there's not a ton of stars in the sky, but I thought it was a nice addition to this photograph. I was really happy to get this one before the fog started traveling towards the camera and then of course just engulfed the entire scene afterwards. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed these time lapses, do you want to learn more about how I create these time lapses? Make sure to check out my masterclass. I will leave a link in the description. You can learn A to Z how I do all of these shots. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.